Now, phase one of the multi-billion shilling standard gauge railway could be operational as early as next year, June, when passengers will be able to travel using modern locomotives from Mombasa to Nairobi and vice versa. But even as the prospects of the project slowly shifts from being a distant mirage to reality, the second phase expected to kick off in January may face the same challenges that gripped phase one, matters land compensation and a controversial environmental uh, uh, impact assessment that could possibly approve the rail uh, passing through the world's only national park within a city. Timothy Otieno has more details for us. Soon it will be out with the old. And in with the new. The Standard Gauge Railway, the biggest infrastructure project in the country since independence, whose first phase is on its final touches, is expected to commence commuter travels by June 2017. We expect to start receiving locomotives by early January. Uh, there is a team already in China uh, inspecting the final assembly and uh, packaging of those in order for, for, for shipment to begin. But that minor breakthrough has not come easy. The first phase of construction has been plagued with controversy following compensation rows involving residential as well as industrial bodies, especially along Mlolongo, where the railroad was initially meant to pass. That plan would have cost the government an additional 3 billion shillings. At the moment. To mitigate the huge spending, an alternative route the Nairobi National Park was suggested. As soon as that idea was floated, resistance began. Now behind me is a section of the Standard Gauge Railway that just passes at the periphery of the eastern side of the Nairobi National Park. Contractors say a similar passage is expected to pass right through the National Park. Environmentalists are not very comfortable with that idea. Conservationists insisted that the rather sacred national park was off limits for the rail. If we destroy this, we are showing everybody that it is okay to touch any other national park or any other wildlife sanctuary. And for this, I say no. But on the ground, work continues uninterrupted. The railway is expected to go the length of six kilometers through the park. Concerns have been raised that the project would hinder animal migration at the country's oldest national park. But we've been able to address that by having this kind of pious to, you know, to, to, to allow the free movement or free flow of animals. And it can be able to cater all sizes of animals, whether small, big, including the tallest of giraffes. Joseph Gitau is talking about the use of such pillars ranging from 3 meters to 10 meters to suspend the railway above the national park once an environmental impact assessment on the same issues the green light. The park, by the way, is extremely famous. The Kenya Railway Corporation believes the passage through the park was the most viable option. The first phase of the railway at a length of 372 kilometers will shorten the passenger travel time from Mombasa to Nairobi from more than 10 hours to a little more than 4 hours. Freight trains will complete the journey in less than 8 hours. The entire project is about 100% for the trucks and the bridges and the culverts and the underpasses. And with the second phase about to commence, possibly in January, Economists are hoping that much of what needs to be done for the rail from Nairobi, Naivasha, all the way to Malaba will remain on track. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.